Tomorrow's finally the day. It's the school festival. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to come soon. We're approaching the end of the season. We should have, soon. Soon. We should have enough time for one more run through. We missed a lot of practice, though, didn't we? We sped right through that. Things are looking good. The band and dance teams are stepping up their games and putting in the work. Yeah, I feel like anything these kids do will be great. Anything. They'll put the same energy into it because it comes from who they are as people. Seriously. Let's murder exactly. everyone in UA with and Bakugo's music. taking it seriously. Everyone's taking it seriously. This is a serious class. When Aoyama's in place, get him in the air. Whee! I'm sure when All Might gave Deku all for one. Perfect. One for all? Whoops. He was not thinking that it would be put to use in this way. Is this the best we can do? Is this what we wanted? Deku dragging Ayama's twinkling body. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> but then again, there's something beautiful about that too. Like we think a lot about like charisma and personal gravity or whatever being a function of who, who we are. But I think there's a, a missing element of it. that's just context. Deku's an interesting case in that regard because actually in a lot of ways, he's, he's very uncharismatic. Yet his character comes across as charismatic. And that's because we get to see him in his best element. We get to see him shining. Like when he's faced with a situation where he has to become a hero, he's like the best ever. And so everything else is forgiven. But, you know, even the coolest of people have areas where they'll just seem totally out of place. In fact, I think there's a strategy there. And it might be something like specifically targeting those areas or doubling down on those areas where we shine. Even if it ends up being big fish in a small pond scenario. That can also be really gratifying. It's hey! Please Students give a speech. Have cleared out of the gym by now. Yes, sir. Let's beat it. Yes, sir. Listen to what the man says. 9 a.m. The school festival begins. I am very excited to see not only this performance, but what happens when uh, General Villain and his assistant show up. I know that one of General Criminal's goals is to gain more exposure on, on YapTube. I wonder how he feels about the excessive amount of hate he gets. There are some people who are fine with that. You know, there are some people who know they're going to be hated, but are still able to be very successful, maybe financially. And that's a bargain that I think a lot of people are, are fine with. I think one of the biggest drivers of engagement on social media and therefore success is emotion, but it doesn't necessarily have to be positive emotion. In fact, I think negative emotion can often be a, a, a bigger motivator, weirdly, as cynical as that might sound. The night before. Whoa! I can't sleep! Yeah, yeah that excitement so before the big day. This is a good kind of excitement, though. I just hope the audience You'd expect more, like, enthusiastic. anxiety. It's better if we don't think about it very much. Yeah, like this. <laughs> we should focus on having fun. Yeah, That's focus on the really task. Matters. Yeah, says the girl who was super scared to front the band. Yeah, but to her credit, she was scared, but she agreed. This rope is so frayed. Mom, dear. I should have noticed this before. Yeah. yeah Rosa will make Are you there no, like, safety standards? Some tea. Don't treat her like your own personal factory. But people use annoying, me yeah. as a phone charger on the regular. <laughs> The performance is at 10 tomorrow, and most places don't open till 9. There's a hardware store about Oh boy, I knew it! I was about to say! I was about to say, Deku's real quirk is about to emerge. See, he doesn't know he has a quirk because it's not one that you would recognize. But his quirk is that he, he just runs into the villains. He just always happens to be where the villains are. He ran into Overhaul in that alleyway, although that was him specifically working Overhaul's area, but still. He was on that train that got attacked by Nomu's, right? He managed to find Ida in his fight with Steam, and now he's gonna run into Gentle Criminal at Work Sun. Before you go, how about we Night Elves make one final promise? To do our best. <laughs> It's so extra, I love it. UA. Yeah! Can you imagine living with these kids? I'd just be pumped 24-7. Deku versus Gentle Criminal. There you are, Midoriya! I knew you'd be here! Hatsume, you're so She knows too so much. <laughs> I got the gloves you asked for to work, so I came to deliver them in person. There's something really sweet about this. Support items can be so compact these days, it's crazy. <laughs> right, technology. The gloves should also complement the rest of your costume. Because you see, a good designer is able to satisfy the client in one go. So what do you Speaking think of, of finding them? your niche, you know, finding your areas. Look pretty badass, too. Here's the manual. <laughs> we don't need that. Who has time to read manuals? It took a while to get used to the gloves, so yeah, I ended up practicing to buy this rope long. And run into this villain. That's the weakest run. <laughs> rope acquired. I should have time to make it back. Something about this run is tripping me out. <laughs> Dear me. And look who it is. You almost ruined the aftertaste of the Gold Tips Imperial. A travesty I would not be able to ignore. I feel like I would immediately think of Dental Criminal because of the accent. Come, let us go, Labr honey. <laughs> Smooth. Oh, <laughs> you must be familiar with Gold Tips Imperial if you had this realization. You're obviously a boy of refined taste. What did he do in the cafe? Did he rob it or something? Is this quirk tea related? Even if you are just a lad. <laughs> Deck's innocent face. Um, well, I don't really know that much. I feel like I've heard this voice before. Yeah, think about it. Think real hard. Which would suggest he goes to an elite school. I love how they're both having this inner monologue. Oh no. <laughs> I'm lucky. Where is this going? Wait a minute. Yeah. 
How delightful to hear, young man. They're both like feeling each other out. The tea. There you go. There you go. But like, what do you do? He's a Yaptu villain, but as far as you know right now, he's just having tea, right? There's no airy in this situation. It's too late. <laughs> the second and This is all happening real quick. We'll have to shut down and evacuate. Oh yeah, the school festival. Those are the stakes. Gotta protect the school festival, Deku. I saw your video. It had a lot of dislikes. A lot. You can't do this! We've worked so hard. I can see how hard everyone is and working Ari. on the festival, and I do want to know how it all turns out. They did a great job making this festival super important. I won't let you near my school! <laughs> yeah, it... I don't know, it, it's weird. On the surface, it might seem a little bit silly, like, all right, it's a festival. Compared to what we've seen before in the past, where it's like, the world will end, or society will be destroyed, or whatever. Especially now that they've introduced, like, superhero Armageddon. But no, it's not trivial, I get it. I want this to happen for Ari and the kids. <laughs> 8.33 a.m. That is when the mid-card roll happened. I won't let you near my school! Well, aren't you a perceptive young man? Wait, do I know him? You better know Deku. I won't let you do that! Here comes the quirk. <laughs> Bubble wrap. My quirk is elasticity. I bestow said property to anything I touch. Interesting. And I do mean anything, even the air, air. itself. Air, yeah, yeah. Gently rebound! That's kind of cute. Gently trampoline! That's why that, uh, the store he robbed in the beginning was shaking like that. I'm sure you have feelings invested in this festival, but they can't win against the desires of my mustache and my soul! <laughs> I like how the mustache was, was first in that order. Help you stick the landing! He can fly hey, in that, Jinto, that way, that's right. I've seen him before! That boy is named Izuku Midoriya! There you he go. He broke his fingers on purpose during the sports festival! He's totally crazy! That is a startlingly accurate assessment of Deku from La Brava. <laughs> Hello again, my friends. The outrageous scheme that's currently in progress has now the been has a hard job. Like she's doing clock. this while filming. It's not easy. The three of us can explore the fest as a trio after Midoriya's done <laughs> shaking his stuff. Deku, this is too much to look forward to. Alien? Don't let it happen, Deku. Kind of excited. We're doing this for Eri. But they can't win against the desires of my mustache and my soul. <laughs> it's even better the second time. <laughs> Since you guys convinced me my music has a purpose. I've actually gotten pretty enthusiastic. The stakes are so deeply personal. You think you can destroy UA's ears with weak ass riffs like that? Where's the crap? <laughs> this is amazing. Man, I want to watch a whole spin off of Bakugo, music director. You're done, gentle criminal! Well, he's got this like projectile thing now. Yeah, great timing for this. As you move, you've got to stay focused and in the moment. See, dance, dance is connected after all. Damn, the air Dale Wars smashed them. Ah. Right in the back. Something cheap about that. <laughs> he seems mild, mildly perturbed. I won't let no, you ruin this for my entire school! Dear boy, that's not your decision. Looks like something fishy's going on. Oh, you think? That's a great observation. It would be smart to retreat. No, he's desperate. Thank you, Hatsume. He's, he's gone down the yap to rabbit hole. It possesses your entire soul and mustache, maybe. That's Thank you, Ashido. That extra dance practice is already coming in handy. I got egg on my face for saying that it was not connected. <laughs> so it has to be very connected, this dance practice to their skills. What do you want with my school? <laughs> You'd like to know my scheme, eh? Yeah, I'd like to know more of your backstory, too. You see, I have no palate for kidnapping or murder or any such rubbish. I simply wish to sneak into your school festival so the world knows that I am indeed a master criminal. Those for exposure. There's no actual goal at UA. Oh wow, he deflected it. What's happening to the beams? He can do all this and he's not even on drugs. He just put that, like, guy at Overhaul's house to shame. Now, boy, Pretty do cool. pay close attention to what I'm about to say. I can't cancel the effect. I can't take him seriously word. when he's doing that. <laughs> If someone's in danger, you'll step in. Uh, yeah, I want to believe that he, he was 100% sure that Deku would catch that. I plan to bounce the beam out of the way myself if you didn't step in for some reason. Oh, that's a huge relief. <laughs> I simply wish to sneak into your school festival. No, this can't be how the fight ends! I'm 
99% convinced at this point that the writer of the show has very, very personal experience with social media. And you see this, right? Like you see people doing all sorts of obnoxious things because they've been possessed by the, the idea of some kind of attention related success. And there's this weird line that you can cross where you're no longer weighing things accurately. So like doing things that are obnoxious or detrimental to others doesn't matter in light of the potential rewards you'll get for doing that thing. I think one potential route towards doing things that are somewhat disruptful or unhealthy might be something like, you start out with, I'm going to make things that are good, that people like, that, that has some utility or whatever. And then for a whole combination of reasons, it just doesn't gain traction because actually it's really difficult. It's way more difficult than anyone anticipates, I think. And then a mental mistake happens where it's like, I'm making good things. People aren't paying attention. The obvious conclusion is that other people are too simple or too stupid or whatever. Look at this other trash they're watching, right? So if this is what the world is, if the world is just full of people who like trash, then it's fine for me to make trash. This is a cold, cruel world and you just do what you have to do to survive at all costs and everything is justified because of previous injustices. Basically, it's what would happen if Attack on Titan characters did YapTube. And so there's sort of a race to the bottom in that way. It's like, who can do the worst stuff? And you know what? To give credit to that idea, it's not like there's nothing there. There are a lot of behaviors that I really, really detest on YouTube that prevail, but you gotta ask yourself, why do they prevail? It's because they work. There's a survival of the fittest and evolutionary nature to behavior as well. So because of that, I think it's a fair question to ask, well, what is the audience's responsibility? You know, like people who support those behaviors encourage those behaviors. Same is true of things like the news, right? Where people accuse news outlets of being sensational, which I think is, is probably valid to a large extent. But then it's like, why are they why are they sensational? It's because people like sensational stuff. As much as we think of certain parties unilaterally imposing their desires on others, a lot of times there's a give and take. You know, a lot of times it's consumer directed as well. That being said, I think it should be no surprise that my stance on it is that success isn't success if you're compromising more important things. Aries happiness, for example. There are other ways to do this. You know, what I want is for General to be successful in his, in his YapTube career, but also, you know, not being a total dirtbag. It's almost time! My <laughs> nerves are killing me! Just take a few deep breaths. Try to center yourself, Kaminari. This concrete slab is a metaphor for the festival, because Deku is literally carrying it on his back. But if they're on their guard and I still manage to sneak in, then I may yet attain the notoriety I seek. As a man who accomplished a great feat, history will remember my name! Also, as someone who, who has done YapTube quite a bit, I'll say that... This is not guaranteed to get views. You never know. He might think it's great, but he just doesn't care. Damn, look at that one-handed cool support though. He's still fighting? Yeah, he does that. <laughs> Neither of you are going to give up. 69 minutes later, or something like that. <laughs> the screen might have had more impact if I spoke Japanese or had subtitles on. But much like Deku, I am stubborn. And unlike Deku, my stubbornness has Really no utility. <laughs> well, this all came to a head pretty fast. I wasn't expecting them to meet here. I thought that he would actually get into the school first or something. I feel like a happy ending is possible. The festival has to happen. It's gonna happen. It's gotta happen for Ari and others. But General Criminal is not a bad guy. I mean, basically he's being obnoxious. That's my feeling about it. He's like a prank YouTuber. But they can all theoretically get what they want. General Criminal doesn't have to like ruin everything to be a, a YapTube success. In fact, there's a big danger for him because I feel like that's the absolute worst. It's like, yeah, there are people who sacrifice their, you know, their integrity for views. But if they get views, at least they can point to that. It's like, well, yeah, you know, maybe I'm a dirtbag, but at least I have money or whatever. But there's another class of people who they do those things and then there's no effect. Like they do not get the anticipated result of their actions. So then they're just stuck with it. Like, why did I do that? That's the kind of thing that hurts because you did something you felt was not great just in the hopes of another effect and you didn't even get that effect. So it's like, who am I? even you know that's 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 a low that's a real low you don't want to go there I, I raised the question at the beginning you know would general criminal be okay with a lot of views at the expense of people hating him i don't think that he he would be okay with that i think he wants to be appreciated so i don't even think this would have the intended effect i think people would jump all over him he doesn't have the greatest audience rapport right now as it is he needs to be using his skills for something good like he has an amazing fun skill a skill that i actually feel is great for yatu like it's just naturally enjoyable to watch so what i don't know unless there's more to it that i'm missing the ua thing is sort of who cares it, i don't know like what's even the title if you're gonna do a clickbait title for this like i snuck into the world's most elite school i guess that works it's not the worst i can think of less interesting videos that are successful. I snuck into UA and found dot dot dot. That's the title. And then the thumbnail is just general criminals face. I can see it. But you never know. Like you can't predict what people are going to watch and what they won't watch. Sometimes you think you have a great idea and people just don't care. Or it's just not searchable. Unless he already has traction, which he doesn't He doesn't really. I can say this is a common thing that I've heard and experienced. The videos you're most excited for that you think will do the best often underperform and the videos you think are your worst and kind of threw together somehow end up taking on new life. 
It's just one of those weird things. I'm often surprised by the reaction to videos. I don't know. Like there are a lot of times where I'll I'll finish a video and think this is not, you know, it's not my best, but you know, I can't re-react to it, right? This is just the way it happened. So then I post it and I'm often surprised by comments like, oh, I, I really never thought about it this way or, or whatever. And other times I put like a ton of energy into a video and I, I think, oh, this is actually like pretty good. I like what I said in it and stuff like that. And then there's like, you know, people are like, eh. <laughs> You never know, I, I don't know. That's, that's sort of the difficulty of creating anything for an audience. Like you don't know exactly how it'll be received. You know, there's a disconnect between what you like and what you think is important and, and what the audience wants. And a lot of that comes down to just having faith that that'll continue to be there. It's sort of a weird thing. There's like a, a leap of faith you have to make continuing to make stuff. We were like, will people continue liking this? What is it about it that they like? You know, you have to give up a little bit of control. At least that's how I feel about it. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. I will see you next time when everything gets resolved. Everything gets resolved. The festival goes off without a hitch and General Criminal finds his, his pun.